Well, we've been patient and we've waited long enough. It's Project for Awesome time. <laughs> Hundreds of people for this year's special edition of P4A create and share videos advocating for their favorite charities, and thousands goofily and earnestly collaborate on a 48-hour live stream with many hosts. We promote and discover and converse and raise awareness and money through the fundraiser, and then we vote on some of that money's distribution to decrease the overall level of world suck. Home base is right here. So my dad and stepmom are teachers, and schools this year and teachers are facing the you know. So my charity choice this year is Donors Choose. Their mission is to make it easy for anyone to help a teacher in need. Closer to a nation where students in every community have the tools and experiences they need for excellent education. It uses its platform to enable anyone to contribute to a teacher's brainstormed classroom project needs and the teachers share the difference your contribution makes to the student's creativity and learning. They've stepped up their game amidst this pandemic and garnered about 4.7 million supporters for 1.8 million projects funded since 2000. Education really is the job of a lifetime, and the early years are so pivotal. So to express my appreciation and gratitude for teachers, here are the inspiring results from teachers in my life. He taught me the humor in storytime funny voices like the Joey Pixa series, and that sharing my learning increases possibilities. And who wouldn't feel safe with these? <laughs> 20% project starter. Create an oasis of student challenge and creativity and let them flourish and lead the learning. She says there is no greater joy for a teacher to watch students' creative idea factories at work. I actually got to go on a trip to Donors Choose office in New York City and volunteer with them and pack letters and it was awesome. He inspired my joy of conversation about ideas and stories while hosting book club and philosophy club in high school. He got me into a club called Character Council and a handful of times I got to travel to some schools and talk about leadership qualities during morning programs. His love of history, story, values, and how music permeates all facets of school subjects, learning, and life. It's the reason I YouTube share the choral concerts from my high school from 2008 to the start of the pandemic. I sing in some form every day. He brought me a Kids TV Show Network opportunity during high school, and she saw leadership potential in me during middle school in 2007 and got me into youth leadership with FCCLA. I've grown with it like a second family since 2007 and created so much with it. It has fueled my love of community and collaboration. We wrote on religions and astronomy, and I wrote letters to wisdom and gratitude journal. And in a way, it led to my love of journaling and two dozen journal ideas. He taught me the importance of thinking outside the box and he introduced me to the book, The Art of Possibility. And he fostered my love of continuing to read personal growth books and stay curious. He got me a little bit into poetry reciting and reading and I even got to recite one to people. And their love of science research would lead me through some competitions and experimentation of my own, adding to my joy of sharing passions, especially fishing. When I remember recording rocket launches in middle school, launching wooden gliders and creating egg surviving crash things. He introduced me to the Did You Know Shift Happens 2007 YouTube video during isometric model paper drawing, which may have been my first ever launch into the space of YouTube. My Italian teacher who knew my grandmother and traveled with her and taught me a love of language and travel and diversity of culture. This list only scratches the surface. Caring teachers have invested in me and fostered my creativity, collaboration, and my want to learn and add value and imagine complexly. Why teachers care to teach is why I choose to care and learn. For more info, look in the doobly-doo and visit donorschoose.org to explore teacher projects and contribute to those that inspire you. Secondly, go to projectforawesome.com to vote for charities just like this one, especially if you think this one has earned your vote to continue to create worthy change. And lastly, participate in all the P4A things and enjoy this awesome collaborative togetherness. We work makes the teamwork. Happy P4A and DFTPA.